Whenever you start getting into auger and grain-to-grain -grain transfers, you're going to need a sterile environment to work in to prevent contaminations. One of the cheapest ways to do that is by making a still air box. What I have here is a 66 quart sterilite bin, and I've already marked two hand holes that I'm going to cut through. Now when you make your hand holes, you'll notice that these ones are offset. This is because one of them is going to allow one hand up higher than the other. It's going to make it easier for me to work with inoculations and grain-to-grain -grain transfers and just makes movement inside the box easier in general. Now if you have a hole saw, that is a perfect way to do it. By all means, use your tools. If you don't have a hole saw and you can't find one at a reasonable price, you can also find a coffee can, heat it up on your stove and melt through the plastic. Once the bottom of the coffee can is good and hot, that's when you want to make sure that you're wearing an oven mitt, take it off of the burner, and press it into the plastic over the marked hole. You'll probably have to twist it a little bit to make sure that it goes through. And don't worry about the smoke, that's just from an earlier video entitled How Not to Make a Still Air Box. Whenever you use a coffee can to melt your holes, make sure that the walls are aluminum or some other type of metal that's not flammable. And always do this near a sink or another source of water where it will be very easy to put out a fire very quickly. Uh, once you got your holes melted in, the plastic will usually leave some burrs and rough spots. The best way to take care of that is to either use a file or simply just run over it with a razor blade to smooth it out. But in the end, you'll end up with two holes that are just right for your hand to fit in. Now the wonderful thing about the still air box like this is later on when you have more funds available it's easy to convert into a glove box. All you have to do is get yourself some dish gloves and a little collet that you'll secure on either side of the hole. The gloves will attach to that. It will work out just perfectly.